Hello everybody, this is Scott Sharp with Fretboard Toolbox and today I'm going to show you how I am trying to work on decoding the, uh, the five string banjo here and uh, one of the ways that I've done that is with trying to figure out how do these notes relate to the notes on a piano and uh, it helps me to look at it in a linear way because the notes are kind of all over the place on here but uh, setting this page up for my book uh, helped me out quite a bit and I hope it does the same for you. Let me show you how it works. Okay, if we take a look on page 8 of a complete five string banjo edition uh, we're going to see the standard notation jig uh, that I set up for myself to try to start understanding this crazy instrument uh, and I have not been crazy successful in, uh, in figuring out the banjo yet but I found some cool stuff that uh, might be able to help you anyway so um, what we've got here is these color coatings of the notes here of the banjo uh, are, have colors that match the octaves of the piano here which match the notes found here on the treble clef. So if you have some sheet music lying around and you want to see how does this relate uh, or how could you pick out some melody notes from there, get some ideas from the sheet music, like this green uh, D note here is the same as this green D note right above middle C, which is the same as any of the green D notes right here. So all of these little green D notes are all in the same octave. So if we look at the tuning real quick, on a five string you've got the uh, five, the fifth string is this uh, high string here, and it is tuned, it's a green one, so it's tuned uh, to G4, and, uh, and then this G note is going to be sa the same as, as uh, any other G note that you see uh, all up and down the, uh, the fretboard. So uh, if I look at a keyboard here, uh, that has these color arrows that I've got. Uh, you can print them off for free from the uh, Fretboard Toolbox website. Um, but being able to see the colored octaves that match what we have going on here, it makes a big difference. Uh, so that, gr that green G note or that G4 note is here on a banjo and then it's the... Here's my G note. So there's my fifth string and then my uh, G note on the piano. Then the uh, four string is tuned to a D, and it's a blue D, so it's a D3 note, and that D3 is down here. So I've got, there's my, there's my G4 note, and then I've got D3 down here is my four string. And then my uh, three string is tuned to a G3, and uh, I can't remember if I just said D4, but that was D3. So I've got G4, D3, uh, and then G3 is in the blue. So I got uh, D4, um, I'm sorry, G4, D3. See, banjo just confuses me. <laughs> it just, I just can't help it. Uh, so I got my G note up here, then I got the fourth string here, and then I've got the... Um, third string right here. So let's just try to look at it in real life here. So I've got the fifth string G is up here. And then I've got the D note uh, is the fourth string. And then the uh, third string. And then the second string is a B note. Still in that third octave. And then the one string is a D note and it's D4. So here's my, okay, so I'm going to try to do this right. So uh, I'm going down, I've got G, D, G, B, D. So that was G, D, G, B, D. I'll try that one more time. Hope I'm not pressing my luck. So, like for tuning, uh, what you can do is if I look at the fourth string, fifth fret, that's going to be a G note. That's my G3 note, and that's going to be in the same octave as the third string here. So, this G right here on the fifth fret is, the, is this note, which is the same as the third string, uh, is the third string open. This fifth string G up here is going to be the same G note as the first uh, string on the fifth fret. 
So this uh, G here, fifth string open, is going to be the same as this. If my if my banjo was holding its tune. Uh, and so I can see that this G note, uh, fifth fret of the fourth string, matches the open third string. And then the uh, fourth uh, fret of the three string is a B note that matches the second string uh, open. And then the D note on the second string third fret matches the D note on the uh, open first string. So banjo is kind of a uh, banjo is kind of a different setup. But it's cool if you can see kind of how these notes all relate and, and how they relate to a piano and, and, and I know which of my G notes are in the same octave and uh, can help me understand some runs and at least try to make some sense of this instrument. So uh, I appreciate you taking a look and hope you found something useful. Uh, please subscribe if you did and, and, uh, and I brutalized the banjo but I can, I can do a little bit better on guitar and, and ukuleles. Uh, and uh, but anyways, being able to see all of this stuff for all the different instruments makes makes a big difference for me, and I hope you find it does for you too. So appreciate you taking a look, and thanks again.